I'm Adam Richardson. I'm the engineer, uh, second race engineer on the 17. Um, I'm from Abbeville, Alabama. Uh, when I was a teenager, I worked for the family uh, logging business and I was a mechanic there. So uh, my cousin took me to my first race at Atlanta, Atlanta Motor Speedway. And from that moment on, I was kind of hooked on on racing and wanted to get involved in it. My family wasn't into racing at the time, so I kind of had to find my own way. And uh, there was a guy that worked there with us, and he knew someone who was selling a dirt track car, a little four-cylinder dirt track car. So when I was 17, I finally earned enough money to purchase it and started putting that together and building it. And fortunately, my family and my cousin really helped me out with that and um, we just sort of put it together made it a family project and started going racing when I was a teenager and I did that all the way up until uh, I went to college I went to a local college for the first couple of years and kept racing and then I went to Auburn University and there at that point I, I quit dirt track racing and started focusing on my studies and declared an engineering, ma uh, engineering major. And I joined the Auburn Formula SAE team there, which was really great, really good group of guys there. And really learned a lot from them. And I would say my time at Auburn, that was probably one of the most valuable things I did was being involved in that race team. Uh, really further engineering skills and a lot of uh, machining skills and mechanical skills there. Right when I graduated at Auburn, I had an opportunity to work for an automotive manufacturer in Talladega. It's really not far from the racetrack there at Talladega at all, but I worked there for five years and then I went to uh, another manufacturer on the other state, other side of the state, trying to gain some experience. So I, I was a manufacturing engineer, but I also maintained some automotive, uh, some motorsports. And at that point, I learned of a position here that was available to operate the eight post testing machine. Um, and my motorsports uh, background and my manufacturing background was just really perfect for that position and it worked out good for me. I learned more about the, the NASCAR side of things, NASCAR stock cars and worked my way up there. I was. So after three years at, on the eight post and learning, and I uh, got an opportunity to be a second race engineer on Trevor Bain's team in 2015. And I did that for a year. And then the following year, I was on the Xfinity side with, with Ryan Reed for a couple of years. Um, and then we won Daytona the following year in 2017. So that was a big highlight there. It was, that was really special to finally win the race uh, win a race in NASCAR and win, win a race for Roush Fenway, so that was really special. And um, after that, I was involved in the race engineering support group once again and finally had an opportunity to join the 17 in 2020. And I've been with the 17 since the second half of last year. And uh, it's been really great. I really, we're really uh, meshing as a team and um, really work well with Chris. I really like working with Chris. So my favorite thing about being a race engineer is is the competition side of things. I really like the heat of the competition and having to make decisions and, and being under the pressure to to execute the race. That's really my favorite part. And then I'd say the second best part of that is really the technology side of things and uh, all the engineering tools we get to work with and um, try to improve our, our performance. As a race engineer, our biggest responsibility really is uh, on the simulation side of things, particularly in uh, today's schedule and today's rules where we don't get a lot of practice in, and we don't get a lot of testing in, so it's simulation heavy. Uh, so we spend a lot of time building a physical, building a computer model of the car and running laps on simulation, trying to find the best setups we can with uh, basically geometry, shock springs, uh, you name it, any component of a car, we vary until we find uh, a setup we think works best for the driver and for our car. And then we go and validate that at the simulator. So that, I would say that's our core responsibility is 
working on the setups and the components of the car to get the fastest car we can get in simulation and correlate that to the racetrack on a weekly basis. And on top of that, you've got our general strategy, things we have to work on, um, our pre-event uh, pre notes and um, preparation as far as what we're going to do for strategy, uh, pit strategy. During the event, we're monitoring the race and using all the tools we have available to us to determine what's, what adjustments do we need to make, come out ahead at the end of the stages and at the end of the races.